Um, I guess my passion these days would be Epic Times, the digital media platform that I built. Um, and what I was finding is that so many people are invested in a political messiah or someone else that's going to come along to solve their problems. And now we're in this never-ending olive garden salad and breadstick election cycle. It just never, <laughs> it just never seems to stop. Like, wh when does that one end and when does this one begin? And they just keep bringing the politics. They just keep bringing the breadsticks. But there's, you, there's no solutions. And what I wanted to do was to just kind of aggregate content that would give people a better understanding about what's going on and maybe put some tools in their hands to make their lives a little bit better. Um, you know, I, I listen to people go, you know, we need to abolish the IRS or we need to balance the budget. And then people get behind these causes and they're all good in and of themselves, but if that's your thing and it doesn't happen and you die, okay, you know, I don't want to die miserable. Um, I think with what limited time we have here, we should make the most of that time. And to me, it's about commonality and it's about networking. You know, you have a job, you need a job, she has a job. Okay, mm -hmm. boom, that's done. What and else do we have? Too. Instead of doing these massive government bullshit unaccountable programs, um, you know, we just had the recent problems in Ferguson, Missouri, and in Baltimore, and uh, I was on uh, CNN, one of those shitty cable channels, and uh, <laughs> and they said, "What, what do people in uh, uh, Ferguson need?" And I said, "Luggage." They're like, "What?" I go, "Yeah, get them the fuck out." I didn't say "fuck," but I said, "Get, a, get, a, you need to get them out of there." I said, "Because their life is like the Truman Show." Mm. Jim Carrey yeah, lived, and all lived in, in a bubble. set and it, this bubble and it was all orchestrated and it was all fake and then at the, in the movie he found the door and he looked outside and he goes wow there's this completely different world out here mm -hmm. and in the aftermath of Katrina and Rita a lot of people left the Ninth Ward and, and the surrounding areas around Lake Pontchartrain and they went to Houston and they went to Salt Lake City they went to Vegas they went to LA they went to Seattle they went to Portland and, and they were like where did this country come from? Where white people like black people and black people like white people and rich people give a shit about poor people and poor people admire richer people and education is a possibility and jobs are a possibility and the American dream is still a dream worth reaching for? Wow. And then they fixed up everything in the Ninth Ward and then all the douchebag politicians were like, okay, come on back. We're back in business. Come on back. And they were like, no. <laughs> Why would I want to go back to that? And I think if you can empower people and put solutions in people's hands so that there are foundational fixes that percolate from the bottom up rather than waiting for it to come from the top down, eventually we're going to show them how it is this country should be mm -hmm. run and how we should be allowed to live our lives and the choices that we should be able to make for ourselves and the successes or the failures that we have or not. And accountability, right of self-determination. You know, we used to be a nation that painted in bold colors. And now it's all like shades of beige. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to Safe. stick our elbows out and say, this is mine. And you got that, Claudia? And you mm -hmm. got that, Pat? Look what we got. Nobody's going to fuck with this space because we own this. And my job is to, in my life is to keep, minimize the damage this government does to me under the guise of helping me. And if we just cordon off our space and say, you're not going to fuck with this turf. This is ours. I'm going to protect this. You start to lay that out. And then you start to expand that grid. And we start to have better lives. And I think if you give people the information, they're smart enough to figure it out on their yeah. own. And that's kind of what Epic Times vibe is about. It's, it's not Republican or Democrat. It's not liberal or conservative. You know, it's not right versus left. It's what's right versus what's wrong. That's really it.